morning students you are most welcome to class 6 english class today we'll just uh, read about a poem the poem is about something which happens in almost all families children do you have your younger brother or sister yes for something petty things there is a quarrel between you and your younger brother or sister if the gap is 2 years or 3 years then because both of you become adamant your brother or sister says he or she is right but you say also you are right then how does it reconcile who acts as the mediator your parents sometimes your parent even if your parents come who do they support the younger child younger one and uh, sometimes you also do not agree with them then what happens it becomes severe almost a climax stage then you do not talk with him but with the passage of time after one hour two hour like that again you become reconciled you become friendly so today we will read about the poem that is dog poem the quarrel poem is written by a modern english poet Eleanor Hudson, E L E A N O R F A R J E U N. Poetess, feminine gender. Poetess, P O E T E S S. Poetess. So she was born on thirteen thirteenth February eighteen hundred and eighty one and died on fifth June nineteen hundred sixty five. So twentieth century. Children's short story book writer, poet, and also a great critic, and is famous for this children's short stories. So today we will read about the quarrel between whom did the quarrel take place, and uh, what happened at the end of the quarrel. How did the two children get reconciled? First, listen to the poem. By a legal farrier, I quarrelled with my brother. I don't know what about. One thing led to another, and somehow we fell out. The start of it was light, the end of it was strong. He said he was right, I knew he was wrong. We came to an end. The afternoon turned black. Then suddenly, my brother hugged me on the back and said, "Oh, come along." Go on all night. I wasn't the wrong, so he isn't the right. So this is the poem. This is a very short poem of two stanzas. Each line has how many lines? Eight lines. So uh, in a nutshell, this is a poem of sixteen uh, lines. And I, I quarrel with my brother. Who does I stand for? i refers to the narrator who is the narrator the poet herself so i had a quarrel with my brother whose brother the poet's brother i don't know what about who did not know what about yes the poet is one thing led to another thing from one topic to another topic this way they went on quarreling with each other and somehow we fell out they disagreed they did not agree both of them were quarreling and telling that both of them were right in their point the start of it was slight the start means the beginning of the quarrel was uh, centimeter very slight little thing but the end it was very strong they were very much aggressive their blood was boiling they were very adamant they were shouting at each other he said he was right who is he the poet's the poet's brother he said he was right i knew he was wrong and i was right who is a the poet's so second stanza we hated one another Who is we here? What does the word we stand for? We stands for 
the poetess and her brother hated one another. The afternoon turned black, unpleasant, and sad, disheartened. They did not talk with each other. The afternoon turned black. They could not enjoy the afternoon. They were gloomy. They were cheerless. They were unhappy. They were disheartened. They did not talk with each other. Then suddenly my brother thumped on the back, thumped, patted on the back and said, Who said? The poetess brother said, Oh, come along. Come and play. Forget the past. Come along. We can't go on all night. Throughout the night, we cannot stay without talking with each other. We cannot lose that beautiful night by not talking with, not enjoying with, not gossiping with each other. We can't go on all night. I was in the wrong. So he was in the right. I was in the wrong. Who is I here? I means the poetess brother because it is within inverted, direct speech. And, uh, and said, who said? The poetess brother said, oh, come along. We can't go on all night. We refers to the poetess and her brother. I was in the wrong. I refers to the poetess brother. He was in the wrong. So, he was in the right. I was in the wrong, so he was in the right. This way the poem comes to an end. So let us see what is the message of this poem. What do you learn from this poem? Moral of the poem. The poetess talks about the love hidden between quarreling of the Siblings, small children, if you do not have your younger brother or sister, if you have a joint family, the cousins, no, siblings, they fight with each other, each other in case of two, but they cannot live without each other. See, this is very important. They fight with each other, but they cannot live without each other. They need uh, their love, their affection, they want to enjoy the time by playing and gossiping like that. In the poem, the poetess, poetess speaks about the quarrel between her and her brother. But in the afternoon, her brother came to her took the initiative, took the interest and admitted his mistake, admitted, confessed his mistake that he was at wrong. Thus, they passed up, they forgot the past, they forgot the quarrel, they reconciled, R-E-C-O-N-C-I-L-E-D, reconciled and forgot their bitterness, forgot their enmity, for, and they became once again the friends. Then after some days, two days, three days, again the quarrel would take, take place, then there would be enmity, there would be bitterness, there would be sadness, they would not talk with each other, again they would become friends. So this is a day-to-day -day affair among siblings. Let us come that uh, rhyming words or rhyming words or rhyme scheme. See the first stanza. First stanza ends with brother. Second line ends with about Third line, another. Fourth line, fell out. Third line, uh, slight. Mm, 
nest strong, nest right, nest wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time there's eight lines. So you see brother goes with another. So brother and another. That is the rhyming word about fell out. Then slide right strong goes with very wrong. So brother another about fell out. Slide, right, strong, wrong. You might have learned it in your lower classes, in the class 5. So this way, rhyming word is determined giving the same sound. Same sound, brother, another. Fell out, about, fell out. Slide, right, strong, wrong. Same sound is given. So, I'll give you a homework uh, later on, but to go through the poem, enjoy, this is a very beautiful poem. The poem is about the quarrel, the quarrel which you come across in almost every day with your younger brother or sister. So enjoy it, what's on. And the questions given in your exercise, that means in test books, you must do it. I'm just asking one question, what does the phrase in the extra turned black mean here? Turned black became pleasant, became unpleasant, became enemy, became rude. Answer will be, became unpleasant, unhappy. Then what lesson did they possibly learn? What lesson did they, the poetess and her brother, possibly learn? They should work hard instead of quarreling. It was interesting to quarrel over little issue. It was futile, meaningless to quarrel over tribal things. Their quarrel would bring bad name to them. So, answer will be it was futile, it was meaningless, it was in vain, it was useless to quarrel over little things. The quarrel finally ended when I am giving you options. The quarrel finally ended when, number one, the brother went up to his sister, apologized and offered to compromise. Their parents came from the market and solved the issue. The sister offered to compromise. Their grandparents taught them a lesson. So, option is number one, the brother went up to his sister, apologized offer to compromise. Uh, what does we here refer to? The neighborhood children, the school children, brother and sister, people in general. Answer is brother and sister. Okay, thank you.